What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires with a new map, new mods, and just basically starting a new, um, kind of a little bit of a new Spin Tires chapter, I guess you could say. Now, I know that there's been a little bit less activity than usual, but, uh, but don't worry about that because our schedule is, as of today, back to, uh, back to normal, and we're gonna be starting off with a... G-Wagon 6x6. Now this thing is obviously everybody knows it. Um, we, I remember uh, I remember covering one of these back in the Spin Tires beta demo thing, um, but this one obviously has quite a bit more stuff on it. It's been uh, hugely improved. Uh, the bumper with the winch is also new, and not only can you change the wheels and tires, but also the suspension changes as well. Check this out. It actually has a similar function to the air suspension on the real AMG 6x6. So this is your off-road mode, and this is your street mode. It's awesome. I love how they incorporated that in, and I think it looks great. You can also install frontal exhausts if you want to. I personally don't really like the frontal exhaust. You can also put a trunk on it, which I think, it actually looks kind of cool. It gives the it gives the truck a little bit more of a kind of exploration vehicle kind of look, but what, the look we're gonna go with is the trunk on top, and the off-road wheels and tires and suspension. So we're also on a brand new map And if you go ahead and look at it right here, there is literally like nothing But it's very big as you can see the garage area the player area. It's tiny in comparison to this massive map We're definitely not gonna be able to explore the whole thing in this episode But we'll definitely be checking out a lot more mods on this map. So we'll um, We'll eventually have the whole thing explored. Let's let's uh, let's say it that way. So First impressions of the um, of the AMG 6x6, it's actually decently quick in uh, in low gear, which is, I mean, I don't know, that just depends on how you want to look at stuff, um, because sometimes it's better to have a slower low gear than a faster low gear. Again, it just depends on how you prefer uh, your off-road vehicles to function, but, um, ooh, come on. Now, there you go. Now, this particular map was very... Um, it was very specific about the fact that all the paths would be um, overrun, overgrown, um, that sort of stuff. So very, uh, they wouldn't look maintained at all. And they definitely are starting to pull that off for sure. Wow, am I seriously stuck already? I've got to be caught on something. The nice thing about it though is the fact that there's tons of trees all over the place to winch to. So it's not really that big of an issue. Come on! Oh, jeez. The winch was kind of pulling me in the opposite direction of where I wanted to go, but it's alright. We made it up over that little... It wasn't really a hill, it was more of a dip. Really challenging terrain, for sure. Your standard, like, UAZ is not coming through here. There we go. This takes a little bit more persuasion than usual, but it will make it. Now this map may be a little bit harder for people to run on certain computers, like certain systems that aren't quite as powerful, because it's got an extremely just dense landscape. There's tons of grass everywhere, um, there's trees everywhere, it's a very, very dense map. So if you have a not if you don't have a quite uh, very powerful computer, then it might be a little bit trickier for you to run this map. But, I mean, it might work on some lower settings. I'm not quite sure. I haven't tested it on any, any other computers. But um, if you guys if you guys do download this map uh, from the link in the description and you do run it on a, um, on a less powerful computer, let me know in the comments how the performance is because I'd be curious to know with how dense this map is. Come on, get grip. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't want to get grip. Well, maybe yes, it does. Oh, there we go. Come on. Wow, I'm actually... I know I don't really like getting stuck, but this has gave me an opportunity to look at the interior. And it's very well detailed. It's a lot of detail in there. I mean, it's not the best textures, but what do you expect, really? What do you expect? on it from a game number one that doesn't have an interior camera 
and number two, from a mod that's been built entirely by, um, you know, like a third-party developer. It's awesome. Or a mod creator, sorry. Sometimes feathering the throttle works, sometimes it doesn't, and this is one of the instances where it actually doesn't. So, we're gonna winch our way out. I thought that last map that we tried was uh, was really involved as far as the off-roading uh, as far as the off-roading part goes. This is way more involved because you're just you're just crawling everywhere basically. There's no ooh cloaking point. There's no like I guess you could say um, areas where it kind of opens up into a regular road. At least that I've found so far. And so far, I'm not actually that impressed with the grip that this thing has. Like, the tires just don't seem to... They just don't seem to want to grip very well. Oh, man. I really... I really don't want to damage this thing. I really don't want to damage it. And it, usually the easiest way to damage something in spin tires is by taking it in the water, so... Tell you what, we'll test this. We'll test it and see how deep that water actually is, and if it starts to go to, like, dangerous water level immediately, we just won't go any further. Oh, okay, not that bad. Oh, not too bad at all. Sweet, okay. And removing that cloaking point did nothing. Literally, like, it did nothing. Which is kind of disappointing, but... Eh, we'll, we'll continue on either way. Adds to the exploration. Is that a... Yeah, it is a bridge. That's cool. Need to go over there and check that out, because that's a different kind of bridge than you normally see in spin tires. I mean, you see, this has, like, the remnants of a road, but this whole map just seems like it was a place where... where nobody's been in, in, in years. It seems very overgrown, and I kind of like that, because a lot of the a lot of the spin tires maps, they have decently well-maintained... Uh, dirt roads, they'll have decently well laid out paths, and as you can see on this map, it, again, like I said, it looks like nobody's been here in years, it looks like you're, it, it has a real exploration type feel to it, and I like that, not a lot of maps and spin tires do that. Oh, that's scary. Oh, it kind of went away though. Oh, wow, okay. No damage yet. Let's keep this going. Come on! It's working for it. Oh, come on. Maybe not. Hold on. Here we go. Nope. Nope. It didn't want to do it. It didn't want to do it. Is there anywhere to winch to? I doubt it. But... Oh, yes, there is. Sweet. I mean, it's a really weird winch position, but we can actually pull ourselves a little bit further. There we go. Now we don't really even need it anymore. And this thing seems to behave a lot more realistically than it did um, in the beta version, for sure. And the suspension is, is... It's so well detailed. I mean, look at that. You can see everything in there. You can see the... Um, you can see the whole thing working, you can see the air suspension, you can see... I mean, it's awesome. See everything at work, and that's... When you can see everything at work like that, that's what... I don't know, that's... That's what I really like to see in a lot of these Spin Tires mods. Because that shows that they put a lot of effort into them. Now, at this point... This is kind of confusing as far as where to go, because... It's just completely f flooded, it seems. Although... Oh, God. Oh, dangerous water level. Come on. It's weird how it'll be, it'll be, it'll be like a dangerous water level, and then it'll not be, it'll just stop being a dangerous water level, and it, like, completely. Oh, oh God. Mm. We just need to stay close to the edge. I think, yep, that's the road. 
It's leaning. Oh, it's leaning a lot. It's gonna have to get back up on land. Come on! Front wheels are up. Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. I think. I hope. And by the way, the only reason why I brought that uh, trunk on top of the on top of the the six by six. Uh, was sincerely just for looks is not to repair the truck because when you're doing a no damage challenge That's one of the rules is no repairs if you have to repair it, then it's not a no damage challenge Wow that is that's a crazy amount of suspension flex Tell you what to prevent from rolling gonna actually see if there's well there's, there is one thing I can hook up to you can pull it up a little bit and inch forward and pull it up a little bit it seems to be working for the most part but you know what I'm gonna set the e-brake and there we go try a try a different winch point because with the different winch points you're gonna have to you're gonna have to keep changing as you go otherwise you're just gonna run out of well you're gonna run out of winch first of all but besides that you're still gonna have to uh, you're still gonna have to change positions otherwise you're gonna roll over and I think yeah it's just about time to disconnect that winch Ooh, that was a weird texture pop in I don't know if you guys saw that but that was weird We're keeping a little bit of a better pace now, though, which is kind of nice, considering the fact that the start of this map was really, really slow. I don't want to kick it up into high, because I feel like we'd just start, start damaging the truck all over the place. It would start bouncing and flying off of these little, not jumps, but kind of like just, um, just little lips in the terrain. You'd fly off of them and start damaging it. Definitely one of the most challenging maps I think I've had in a while, though. And if you like a challenge, definitely try this map out. Although, it's not very well suited to uh, to things like the UAZ. The UAZ would not do well here. Um, at least in stock form. A modified UAZ like the, the UAZ Hunter, uh, that would be great here. That would be, that would actually be a really cool, uh, really cool one to try. The only problem with it is the fact that it's a little bit top heavy. But other than that, that would be a good vehicle for this, uh, for this area actually. Let's see if we can remove this cloaking without, uh... Yes, we can remove it without, uh, without drowning our truck, which is always a plus. Nope, I tried kicking it into high, didn't work. Not worth it whatsoever, not worth it. Wow, this part of the map is actually even more overgrown than the beginning. This is going to take a little while to get through. Oh, well, maybe not. Truck just moved a little bit. There it is. Keeping a steady speed. Did he? Whoa, okay. Random mud hole. Not really even mud hole, just... A little piece of the river that decided to go this way instead of following the actual river itself. That's not... Okay, I was like, that's not where we came from, is it? There's no way. Okay, yeah, no, there's no way. Yeah, it does loop around. Okay, good. But, um, we'll actually be picking this up in the next Spin Tires video, either with this truck or with a different truck. But, um, if you guys enjoyed this No Damage Challenge, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.